Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1246th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. And that, of course, is the gentleman speaking to you right now. Good evening, traders. This video is coming to you on Sunday night for trading, Sunday through Monday, November 17th, 2014. Futures trading, as we know, can be extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Futures trading is certainly not for all trading accounts. And remember, traders, this is simply the opinion of a 33-year veteran analyst slash trader from down on the trading floors and back on the trading desks. It doesn't mean that this opinion will work, but it is a technical opinion. It is not my personal opinion. I give you the opinion driven directly from these charts. So let's get moving for Sunday Night for Trading Monday again. That's November 17, 2014. Traders, I showed you a big bear flag on Friday or Thursday Night for Trading Friday. And I said, gold is going to go down. I'll see you later, right? See you. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Well, that was wrong. <coughs> gold did not go down, right? absolutely incorrect i take my abuse for that we were absolutely positively incorrect there was no breakdown in fact gold had an enormously insane rally on friday but you know what it did do it rallied just to the high of the flag in fact this flag is still here the flag was drawn before this day was in look at this delete bar delete bar okay so i'm deleting what's happening right now live and i deleted friday I had this flag already out there for you. If you look at Thursday's video for Trading Friday, you'll see I had a big bear flag in gold. What has happened since is we simply have gyrated inside. Now I'm adding Friday back in. We simply have gyrated inside of the flag. It has not proven itself. It has not broken above the flag. So you had a one day up move. I know there's a lot of gold bugs out there that are flipping out right now because from what I understand, the rumor mill has it that Elvis Presley has told all the gold bugs who are really bullish this market that Richard Nixon is coming back to be president again and he's going to put us back on the gold standard. Barring that, there's no other reason for the gold to be going up. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but look at this. This is Friday's move last week. Monday, it's right, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's move. The Friday that just passed. Interesting. On Friday is the last two anyway. Friday. One Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday again. Interesting, right? Both days painted the bear, the bear flag on both occasions. So let's see what we're going to get. The great thing about Friday's horrible call for the market to go down in gold, Omni did not have a trade. Omni did not trade gold. It did not put out a recommendation in gold. We actually sidestepped the gold and got blessed. So we'll see what happens. That's the gold on a daily. Traders, if you look at the gold on a weekly, you will see that you have not seen much. Now, I have been showing you this chart for so long, I don't want to bore you with it, but when I first showed you this chart, none of these weeks, not here, 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 just this existed. So just to do the exercise, let me remove them. I said to you, I thought that we had a formation that looks exactly like this previous formation, and this is where we stood on the week that I showed you the chart. So let me remove the, these few weeks and show you what it looked like. So here's where it stands when I find this chart. And I think, oh my goodness, this has to be this formation. What's he talking about? What's this crazy man talking about? Let me show you. I have this formation right here. It bounces, comes back down, hits this basically flat line, bounces again, which then starts to complete this sloping line, bounces again, as I said, and comes back down. So let's put this all together and show you exactly what's going on here. So you take this little ball and we follow it, right? Let's put everybody back together and we go up, bounce, up, hits the line, bounce for a third. So you started it here and then you went up, ba-boom, hits the top, ba-boom. So right about there at that point, we decided that it was going to be prudent to say that the formation that we have just noticed is exactly this formation. What do I mean? You've got this up, down, hits the top, hits here, then comes up, 
and starts to nosedive, right? It has a bounce finally off this line, which basically, if I put it back the way it was, is basically flat. So you bounced off this line, and then you had this little nosedive. Whoa, and came down here. So here's what I think is going on right now. I showed you this very same chart, and I said, this is exactly that. Watch. Up, down, up, hits the line, starts the slope for us. Back down for the third bounce, and here we are. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Bounces off the top here, bounces off the top here. I think we've got the same formation. And I begin to show this to you right at this point. So here we are with this bar, which I think is this bar. And I said, now I think we bounce up and hook down and have a smash down. So let me show you since the day I brought you this chart, what has happened since. We will put those days back in like now. And look, these are weeks actually, not days. Look at this. It looks very much like this. It went up, 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 and then smashed down for two big bars. Went up, 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 and smashed down for two big bars. So what I think we have next is this spot. We're at this spot right here. We bounced, we went, excuse me, we're at this spot right here. We bounced off the line, went up, came down for two big bars, and now consolidating. Came down for two big bars, and now consolidating. Here, we came down for two big bars, and now we're consolidating. These two bars might not be as big as these two, but look at the price of gold. It was $15.90 back then. It's only $11.80 now, so you can expect that it won't drop as hard. So I think this, this week and this week is done, and we are now here looking at these weeks right about here. That puts us right here for now. And I think that this is this, and you may get another week or two consolidation right here, and then we should head back down again and start this move, which you will see right here. So that is what I'm thinking is going on, but this is very long term. It is a weekly gold chart, so you cannot jump in gold and think it's going to go down right now because you may consolidate right here, like you're doing here. You may consolidate for three weeks, one, two, three, before turning again. So we're not jumping right in gold. We're going to monitor gold, but that's your gold story on the weekly, and you've already seen the daily. So we'll switch back to the daily very quickly, and then we will see what else is going on out there. So then we take a look at something like the NASDAQ. When you look at this NASDAQ chart, traders, you will see that the very same F flag that I showed you on Friday has not changed at all. It's Oscar's infamous F flag. And we are inside of that F flag. Now, if you want to tighten it up a little bit, you can simply say that this parallel line is the top of the F flag. This one here and not this one. Either way, F flag, F flag, F flag, F flag. So we'll put this here, but basically here's your F flag. We are inside of it, and the likelihood is we will stay gyrating inside of this, this F flag up and down until finally one day it breaks out of it, and it could be the downside, which is why we call it the F flag. Many times you get F at the end of the life of the flag, but we are not at the end of the life of this flag. And in fact, if you ask me, this is merely just another flag building right here. Right now, as I'm drawing this for you, this is live, and I think that this is another flag that is building. So let's put the bottom line in. And then you call this the flagpole. And I think you've got another flag building right there inside of the F flag. And if that's the case, this is going higher to the upside. So let's continue buying dips until it hurts, so to speak. We have not had a problem buying dips for weeks on end. There is no need to break away from that pattern now. We will buy dips looking at this as one flag, looking at this as the possibility of a second flag inside of the F flag, looking for higher for now in your NASDAQ. Of course, we always trade with stops because as we know, a stop can be your best friend in this industry. We also know stops do not always work, but in most cases, they will get you out of trouble. So what we do like to do is never, ever, ever trade without stops. It is extremely important to put your stop in because without this stop right here, this could easily go this way, not that way, and you will wish your stop was in. So put your stop in for protection. Whether it's going to work or not is another story. Put the stop in. Then we go to ES, the S&P. And this one, very interesting. Even with Sunday night's dip, 
Even with Sunday night's dip, you maintain levels inside the F flag, which is where you are right now, or at least inside of a parallel channel. You can easily expand this one out if you need to down here, but for now, we'll keep it where it is inside of the F flag for your E-mini S&P. So for now, it looks like our stop will be safe. It looks like it may not get challenged and we will continue to buy the dips until the market changes complexion. Traders, if you like the charts that you are seeing, come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come to my free, and I say it's free trading room. Just log on to livewithoscar.com. Come to the trading room and join me and my ever-growing army of omniacs who huddle in the trading room every day at livewithoscar.com and try to get these markets right. Traders, the other thing I like to tell you at all times is to keep this completely out of the picture. Keep your emotions at bay, and this is what you can do to stop yourself from going crazy. You say to yourself, stops are in. Over and over again. And that's really helpful because, believe it or not, when your stop is in, although stops don't always work, it is like having an insurance policy against you freezing when the market breaks. Let's say you're long right here and you got a stop under here, but you don't put the stop in and you put a mental stop in, so there's no real stop under here. When the market starts to break down, the likelihood of you rushing to the computer and putting in your stop diminishes greatly. But if you put your stop in first, the stop knocks you out of the game when you get past there and whether or not you were going to make a decision, it's been made for you. That's why we like to put our stops in first. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. And remember to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, I'll see you at livewithoscar.com.